My name is Anne. I took part in the Solia project in the Connect program this, this spring here in Padua. I'm not an Italian student. I'm an Erasmus student. I come from Romania and I'm here in Italy since, since September. So I'm quite a, a month here. I chose to take part in this program because before coming here, I also had an experience for three years in an international organi organization. And I have this, this feeling of doing things that are international related, to meet new people, to live in a, a very diverse uh, cultural and ambient. And this program for me suited very well. What I did here in the Connect program, I took part for two months. Uh, each week for in a virtual meeting with other people from all over the world. There were people from America and from the Middle East and we discussed problems regarding the West and the East relationships uh, and how this thing uh, affects mainly the behavior of people, the, perce the perceptions and also it involves with stereotyping a lot that is very controversial nowadays. Mm, what I remember from this program and what I really liked, it was the people that I've met. Even though there were only two months, for me it was enough to, to get to know people from Egypt, from Lebanon, from Jordan, and to understand their culture. For me it was very interesting because I don't study um, um, political sciences or I don't get involved a lot in an international environment because I study economics. So from this point of view, this program enlarge my horizon in knowing more about the Middle East, in knowing and understanding their culture there and their, their different opinions about us and how they see the world. It was very, I don't know, it was interesting to have some small conflicts not necessarily, or debates with people that they perceive, for example, in a way the Europeans on the, or the people from the West and their perception and their stereotypes and to see how we are perceived in, in their world. It was very, very different to, to understand all that and to, to explain to them that also they are stereotyping us and not only us are stereotyping them. In these virtual meetings that I participated, for me being at home, I didn't have the problem to adapt to a new cultural environment, but I had the the challenge to adapt to different points of view from different realities. Even though I wasn't in the, the countries where the people were from, I didn't live there to, to know the reality. From they were saying, from their stories, from their background, it was like I was, I was there somehow with them when they were living those moments and talking about, for example, the Arabic Spring or, or the, the war between the Palestinians. It, it was very, very emotional to hear stories from a people who, uh, who live there, who are there and are seeing are all around them, are all these things that are happening, negative things and how they, they influence them. And in the end, after two months to accomplish all this, to have friends from Egypt or from Ohio or from any other uh, part of the country that are inviting you to come to their uh, their city to visit to to be there with them it's it's really it's something big in two months you never touch that person the person never sees you you can only see the face how they smile or how they get angry or how they talk I don't know but you cannot have the have the human contact that it's usually happening in all the the connections between people so in two months to accomplish this through this, this program that it's also video, it's something big. I don't know, it was in the end to get to have another eight friends. It's a big thing to say in two months.